We're not talking enough, I think, about the fact that the Jacksonville Jaguars are hosting a de facto playoff game center. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real thing that's happening. That Trevor Lawrence is going to take the field in Duval County. Okay, against a Titans team that is a shadow of itself. With all due respect to Joshua Dobbs, is getting, you know, the start of his life. And I'm sure he's got, you know, ideas of his own success in his head and making the most of his moment. And it's an incredible story. He is an incredible yeah. human. And the opportunity in front of him and Derrick Henry and the reigning coach of the year and what they're able to do on Saturday night. But... The Jacksonville Jaguars have been playing spectacular football in the last six weeks. They have taken Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson Peterson has taken Trevor Lawrence and put them on a rocket ship that has taken off over the last six weeks. And this team was first on the clock in April. First on the clock. Back. After being first on the clock the previous April. And they made some great, when I say, I mean great decisions in free agency that were questioned about the price tag. Obviously, Christian Kirk is the most prominent name for that price tag. It's kind of, again, I've been saying it all week. I'll keep saying it because it's a great line. I don't need the best players. I just need the right ones. From Miracle. They put it together. And of course, this does allow me uh, one opportunity, mm. again, to do one of my favorite pastimes, even though I've made a New Year's resolution to be kinder and gentler, just like everyone else in 2023. Except when it comes to... Urban Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Honestly. The bones were there. I mean, obviously, they did add some free agents, and they... They, they did not have Travis Etienne last year, and you could see what he's doing now, right? Mm -hmm. But seriously, what Doug Peterson has done and how dreadful last year was for them to turn around and, and host this de facto playoff game on Saturday night, I'm looking forward to seeing what that crowd looks like. And I, I, I'm really looking forward because these fans are nuts. You, you criticize them, they'll be in droves on your Twitter. Feed. Are there Jaguar bots? Do they have bots? I don't know. <laughs> are, there, are, there, are there people somewhere in like, you know, Russia who are big Jaguar fans or something running a bot farm? I don't know. You're everywhere and you're passionate. And so this is a big game Saturday night. Is this known? Maybe you can ask the research, uh, Rich. Has the team ever gone from first on the clock to winning the division? I think... It has before um, first on the clock to winning the division. I think it has, and I'm trying to just wonder because some, sometimes teams choose first on the clock because they got the draft choice, you know what I mean, where they got, they lucked out. They, they acquired somebody's draft choice in the previous years, and it turned into being the oh, number I one see. pick. But I don't know if I mean gone from like worst, one. Worst record, number one pick, yes. boom, win the division Correct, that year. right. I don't know if that's and again, it's a testament. It's a it, it, if they do it, it's a testament to their free agent maneuvering. Obviously, uh, you know, um, and not in this order um, because I'm mentioning free agent maneuvering first. Uh, talent on the roster and the fact that Urban Meyer was so friggin' terrible at his job and totally messed up the most golden ticket the NFL has handed to a coach. In recent memory. Enjoy the night, Jaguar fans, on Saturday night. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.